Hello everyone, it's Tuesday on Your View. Welcome to the show. I am Morayo Afolabi Brown as always. I never do this alone. I have the ladies with me. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. YK, YK in the view. How Thank you doing, YK? Yo, yo good morning. The hair is nice and fluffy. Mm -hmm. Today. Yeah, I like it. How are you, YK? I'm fine, I'm fine. Um, I wanted to um, talk about something that happened last week, you know, because I, there were a lot of reports online mm. saying, oh, the shrine was raided by the task force. The shrine was not raided by task force at all. Mm. They didn't come near the shrine. <laughs> they didn't go inside the shrine. We are safe and sound there. <laughs> and business we, is we, ongoing. And business is ongoing. Mm. We do not... So what was the scare about? It was actually the illegal traders that they... Um, the street traders raided. Oh. that they raided and that was it. not the shrine. Okay, that's cool. Because everybody says it's the shrine, mm. so whatever they do there, they blame us mm. now. Okay. Yeah, around every, everything in the environment, it just it yeah. just yeah. blame us. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. If they raid the raiding that place secures the shrine more safe, right? Ah, well, I don't know. <laughs> but I, I will, I will reserve your leave, comment. I will reserve my comments okay. on that. <laughs> <laughs> like, why is preparations going on for celebration? Ah, we are trying. We are trying. It's. Um, I am today. I'm on my way to see the commissioner for tourism. Okay. Okay. When I leave here, mm. hopefully Lagos support. State will support. Mm. Right. And um, that would be nice. It'd be nice to get the support. We have meetings tomorrow. Yeah, meeting, meeting, you know, because we have a dance competition actually on Saturday. Oh wow! Right. If you guys are not doing anything, please come, come and watch the I'll dance. Watch we have some contestants. Be nice. it's, it'll be, it should be quite Lovely. nice. Definitely, mm. definitely. Quite we'll nice. Be there. We'll it's to... five o'clock. Just oh, okay. Yeah. Five p.m. Okay. at the shrine. At the shrine. Okay. I hope you know that everybody. No street trading. invited everybody. <laughs> That's fine. It's fine. invited right. the world. No street trading. Okay. Cool. Oh, okay. Cool. How you doing? Everything will be inside the shrine. <laughs> How you doing, Obiya Jumi? Um, I'm not feeling too good this morning. Um, I was stressed yesterday because I just uh, got home to find out that my pumping machine packed up mm. at this time of my life mm. and there was no water anywhere. So oh. that puts me in panic mood. But I hope it will be resolved today, hopefully. And, mm. um, you see, when I, when I hear things like this, I remember my landlord. My landlord is so amazing. I don't, I don't, I don't do pumping machine. The I'm the landlord. Yeah, okay, that's <laughs> the She's the landlord. We don't your even tenant do that. be complaining. Yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk to me, me, madam. There's no water. Yeah. 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 I'm going to call people to see. <laughs> anyway, so know, when I was in London, I didn't have all this stress. Exactly. Um, exactly. Where is our water compression? Generation issue. Yeah. 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 They say two batteries of the generator is gone. Ah, uh, this one, the new generator is not working. I say, mm -hmm. oh, <laughs> oh. Story of Nigeria. I can imagine. Ah. That in itself is stress. I was stressed ah. yesterday. Mm. Stress. I was really stressed. Oh, I stress. am on your page. Mm. <laughs> I understand. Ah. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. We don't have life stress. today. Yes. Just, I, I did yeah. really nice moi moi and this morning, my moi moi is sour. Like I, and I, 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 I'm just What's looking the, at. Let me image it. That I like I put fish, oh, egg, fish. Ah. I mean, you know I, my, my, <laughs> my moi moi is bad. My moi moi is bad because we didn't have light for two days. Ah, and oh. I'm just looking at it. That see the way we just and a lot of things went bad, and that's how we waste what is limited resources mm -hmm. because we are not a doing little, what is right. Like four years in church, right? They took up the light. You no, know, they took up the light, and mm. they're trying to just change power. Mm. A little four year old said. Nepa! Ah, they know Nepa. Mm. Like, oh my goodness. What a country. I'm like, this, this is not your reality. This, not, this shouldn't be your reality. Yeah, yeah but this is not normal. I, mean, I have let you know, this yes. is like absolutely, absolutely abnormal. Look, you know, you people are much younger. When I was growing up, when Nepa takes light in the morning like mm. this, or in the evening, everyone will shout, hey, when they bring it, yeah! <laughs> no, we don't. We know we no, do. Just, we just do our generator. We're used yeah, to it. Yeah. 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 Everybody's like, but in I want to talk about Because who had money for generator in those days? Everybody was shouting. Yeah. Yeah. Now, generator has become your reality. Right. Right. Before we run off, I want to just talk about the, uh, the challenge we have with um, tricycles. And I understand that there must be a regulatory body for them. Because tricycles face incoming vehicle, like they face you and expect that you would be, you yeah. would swerve for them. And my husband said that most the average um, tricycle driver was an Okada rider, mm. so in their head they still feel like they are riding Okada and they think they can maneuver they like never that. Use but they confront you. It is. It, is, it must become. It, it must become. They, they must be regulated. Well, it is not only the tricycles that do that. They they are that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yesterday I was on a road. They never traffic it. And the guy was coming full speed towards with the Okada. You. Full speed. Like and I you. wanted to call the passengers' attention. Wait, madam, you want to kill yourself? Are you all right? <laughs> <laughs> we have to go. Unfortunately. <laughs> 
That's the story of our country, unfortunately. Mm, Hopefully one so. day it changes. That's going to break now. When we come back, we'll go through the top stories in the papers. Stay with us. We'll be right back. With the nation, starting with the nation, Ramfak asks governors for a new revenue sharing plan. Buhari accepts South Africa's apology for xenophobic attacks. My wish for Nigeria by Bill Gates. Wadume, military police tango over trial. Workers for strike over minimum wage. Okay, I read the story on Ramfak. I don't know who else has that story. Mm. Uh, but the revenue mobilization allocation um, committee are saying that they've not heard anything from the governors that are saying that they should review mm -hmm. the allocation that is given mm. to the states, local governments, and the federal. Mm. And the governor had replied saying that, well, there was a document that was prepared back in 2012 <coughs> during Jonathan's period mm. uh, where they would agreed that the federal government would take 35%, states would get 42%, and count the local government councils would get 23%. That that's still standing. They have not changed that. Okay. But, um, so that's what they it, want. That's what they want mm -hmm. uh, for the, uh, the review of uh, revenue allocation. Yeah, yeah. I, I want to talk about so, what Bill Gates want okay because bill gates has bill gates um foundation is a co-chair of the bill gates foundation as their office in nigeria and they've heavily funded the the a successful move to end polio in nigeria we've not had any case of polio in nigeria in the past three years and bill gates while addressing media um through a tele telephone conversation talking to many african countries where bill gates foundation funds the health sector says that he's concerned about nigeria because nigeria is a re uh, has huge population and anything that happens here trickles down he's saying that a lot of countries that earn less than nigeria prioritizes their health sector in mm. that they have a higher budget for their health sector and that is hoping that nigeria would fund the health sector better. He partners with Dangote to reach out to traditional rulers to push In addition in. to that, he said that mm. uh, about our GDP is about 6% and it should mm. be about 15%. Mm. And that um, if we can at least invest a bit, in just maybe use six states health in health, others now do not gain confidence of the citizens to pay taxes mm. towards a bigger project of health, mm -hmm. the health I hope sector. the people who are supposed to hear are hearing. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on now to the punch. Doctors Exodus now more alarming, says <coughs> NMA. 60 doctors dump Lagos <laughs> hospitals every six months, says NME. <laughs> Singer Dami Crane arraigned for threat to life. APC reacts as tribunal upholds back in day's election, excuse me. Five UTME candidates face prosecution for falsifying scores. South Africa apologizes for xenophobic attacks. Envoy meets Buhari. Salami Soludo panel replaces Oshimbajo economic team. Chad Niger heads men to benefit from federal government's livestock scheme. And River Niger, Benue's rise heightens flood alarm. Which story are we taking major here? Head, yeah, major story. The yeah. So um, the uh, punch carried out an investigation as usual. You know, they pick an industry or a parastatal and they decide to investigate what is dig going in. wrong, dig in. And now they found out that about 50 to 60 doctors live in about six months every, every six months going to countries like US, Europe for... Uh, you know, to work there as medical doctors. So they abandon their post here. And then uh, we don't have um, a replacement for them at the moment. Right now, the doctors who are working here are overwhelmed. A doctor sees about 100 patients in eight hours. How do you expect that kind of doctor to be effective? Patient. So they are exactly. That should supervise yes. this. So we have the Minister of Health now. And we also have a Minister of Interior that can help us look into everything happening in the interior. So um, if the Minister of Health isn't speaking up, I know that Arab Shala tends to. Mr. Mm. Arab Shala is, is someone that is vocal. I, can Kaduna, they speak into this? Yeah, in Kaduna, 33 doctors were employed. Mm. Eight, Eight showed up mm. wow. for <laughs> the work. But I, I don't even mind them leaving. I think it's can good to get international. Yeah. I think we, I, no, I, I don't mind them leaving. It's mm. good for them to have that international exposure. But I think what's important, we should plan for those so, some to return. Some of have gone the experience abroad. Make the, 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 no, no, it's true. Now. We also have a make Nigeria no, conducive no, no, do, for do, them to come do, back. Do they yes. want to return? Make Nigeria no, conducive, make, for, make them conducive return. for them to come back. So but, let the ones that are here, let them go and get experience. But Maria, we have enough doctors. They are not employed. They are not employed. They are not employed. But they don't have the kind of experience that would like. Yeah. The doctor has to be trained. We still it's better than not having doctors. Uh, let them start on the study. Since we know 60 will go next, can we start having the somebody on that studying them? Okay, let's pick because we need story. doctors. No, we, the, the, I do understand. What is making the doctors go? Is it not lack of money? Mm. Yes. No. So if they if if they were paying them properly, right. if they were if everything was working according right. to plan, they would yeah, stay. They will not even move. 
But we don't so, really want them to have this so international experience. Yeah, we, we, we need international which, experience. experience. We need them which here. Which international uh, experience? The, there's we a new here now. We have a new economic um, committee mm. set up with powerful people. We have Soludo. We have um, Alfred Rwani. We have people that mm. are reputable. Not Alfred, it's Bismarck. No, Bismarck, sorry. <laughs> um, Bismarck, uh, Rwani. <laughs> so, so these people me. are there. And I'm wondering that, okay, so if we're inaugurating a new panel to look into our economy, can we have the report from the former panel head, headed, um, handled by the vice president? Like, what did they do? What was they, what they, they came up with the uh, Nigerian economic and uh, um, the N NRGP. So what is the report of that? Shock, I'm, sure they, another I'm, one? Shock, I'm sure they are handing over. It's not, it's not no, a No, 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 but these people are having, they yeah. have a new blueprint of what to come up with. Mm. They should plan the 30, mm. they said they're planning the next 30 years. So what did the last four years what did they of the achieve? economics committee do? Yeah. If yeah. you're yeah. 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 I'm even surprised. For me, the non-issue. All this talk started from, they are telling doctors from there who are earning big, big money. To come here. To come here. And do what? To do what? Like, that's the that's a hot topic. Because I think they can come here. And do what? Doctor, you were here. You are now interviewed a man who works in Luth. Yeah. He works with children. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is he not in Nigeria? Yes. And we had the. Do you know he, he came from the United States. We had the radiologist exactly. woman so that this, is certified this in multiple countries. Let's not even go there. It's a different topic for a different day. Uh, there's you a don't different. Know how he's making his money. <laughs> no, let's uh, Moving on to <laughs> Vanguard. Mm. He has set himself up. There. Ramaphosa apologizes. Mm. Federal government plans 30-year economic development plan. Over local, over 100 local governments in 33 states affected by floods. Says NIHSA. Masari, kidnapping banditry can be cancerous and consume Nigeria. Tribunal opposed Mike in this election. Apapa gridlock, Sonwolu reps seek approval for Badagri and Lekki seaports. Okay, which story are we take? Ramaphosa. Yes, go ahead. Yeah, South Africa. Africa. Yeah. So they they sent their envoy, two of them, to uh, Nigeria, and they've apologized that uh, this does not stand according to their words with uh, the constitutional democracy of what they have in mind. That they are very sorry it happened. That at the moment they've arrested about 50 persons who were involved in the xenophobic attacks, and then uh, more investigations are ongoing. That they actually know that we have supported them through apartheid. We've done a lot for them so we should forgive them and um, come to together so I'm asking exactly no they they, <laughs> he, they said that the, yes on <laughs> October 3rd for a meeting so they will table the compensation okay. issues okay. Until that one hopefully is sure not government they will compensate they will compensate no, it's the the individuals like, yes. <laughs> well, hopefully yeah. Yeah. Let's wait. because there's a union of South Africa union of Nigerians Nigeria. in South Africa yes. those should be involved in it because they're they the ones that have money where their mouth is so not just apology put the money compensate for them we need I really really apologetic let's take the uh, Papa Gridlock so story. the House, House of Representatives um, had a committee on port, con port decongestion. That's the committee. Um, Yusuf Yakub, they visited Lagos with the entire committee um, to supervise what is going on in Apapa, and they felt that, uh, and they, vi they later visited Lagos <coughs> State, um, State House. They spoke with um, Sonwolu, and Sonwolu explained, the governor Sonwolu explained to them that for us to deliberately decongest this port, we need to invest in, Lek in um, um, Lekki and Badagri. Mm -hmm. Now, work has already been, work, work has started there. They already have contractors, people are already doing the work. All they are waiting for is approval from the federal government and NPA. So they've done their own part. They were just waiting for the government Aside to do it. That, and so they can't decongest a papa mm. without having alternatives. It's, yeah, we also need the eastern ports. Also, yes. I don't know what's going on with the eastern ports, but we need, the what, topic we, I really want to discuss with the NPA. It's not just about NPA. It's about the state governors of those states that those know they can have the ports. ports yes. Those are federal yes. infrastructures. What is, what is Sawolu doing? Sawolu has prepared the ports down. They are ongoing. Not even Sawolu. Lagos state government in their blueprints prepared ports down. I've got, I've not, they've not gotten approval, but they are building, knowing that approval okay. will meet them on the way. So okay, state should be proactive towards these to things. Daily so because severe flooding looms, federal mm. government warns. South Africa begs Nigeria. Uh, attack on Saudi Arabia and Nigeria to rake in 1.3 trillion in three months. Agri Ministry bo blows 9 billion on dilapidated headquarters. Three stories there. Let's start with the flooding. Yeah, in the, the, they've been warning all the states that the flooding <coughs> is going to take over and it's happening in the north now. I, mm. I even watched a report on, in Abuja, um, the flooding in Abuja. Uh, so it's now moving to the south, south and it will be here till December. Wow. So we should all uh, yeah, so. take it. And mm. uh, it, the, it happened in Ojikalu's house mm. in, uh, in Abuja. Mm. Uh, his his vents were swallowed. Oh. And he says that every year, the, 
the thing has been happening and he has been reporting to all the ministers. It's only this minister now that he has not reported to the mm. CEO. That so they're saying he, that the yeah. river Venue is, 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 is rising and I think there's another, um, I think like some lake in lake, Cameroon lake also Chad. rising mm. and that all that will start coming down south and by December 26th, between December and no, December, September 26th, all the way to December, we're expected to get when, some serious high flooding. In mm -hmm. earnest in wow. uh, Saudi Arabia? Yeah, um, in, to, to two big stories out. Saudi, Saudi Arabia experienced attack from Yemen and their major oil, um, their largest oil producing um, um, infrastructure was bombed. Um, they had like 100 do drones fly in and that has created a reduction in production, which is good news for Nigeria because we're now going to make about 1.3 um, trillion mm -hmm. in this year alone. So that's good for us. However, how are we spending the money? Because right now, Let information, the money confess no, 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 now. information coming from the Greek ministry has that a Greek, the Greek minister, former Aldogbe, spent 9 billion naira buying what they called a dilapidated building hmm. that they are now going to re re, um, reconstruct. Re no, no, they will have to do some structural repair that will cost four billion naira. Hmm. Now, Aldo said that, no, the building only costs seven billion and that they didn't have any office in Abuja for years. They were squatting and paying 200 million for rent. So 400. in 400 million, what is in order of priority? Where should we put our Greek money? Uh, no connect down with Saudi Arabia that money. Because the, when, when we now make Saudi Arabia money, where will we put it? We'll not use it in buying building and oh, use it in building. Be optimistic. God, the, the hand of God is already working. See and how we're about to collect 1.3 trillion uh, you in you next few months. You've been your hot topic yesterday. Yes. 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 Yes.
that if it's a state school, I write letter to the state to get permission. approval. Yeah. And then they are, the process of approval is not even straightforward. So even if I have the money, I'll lose interest. So mm. I, I feel that the government can definitely do a whole lot in improving the health sector, I mean, the educational sector. But the most <coughs> thing is to <coughs> unclog the process and make it easy for well-meaning Nigerians give to, to give back to their schools so when they want the to. The question that uh, Beautiful Nive was asking, that it sh it should it be your responsibility? Do you think it is? For, first of all, I think it's... If it's in our community, it's everybody's responsibility mm -hmm. because we are all uh, part of the community. We are all leaders in the community, whether you are the one at the helm of affairs or not. And I know that we have jobs for the so-called people that we have elected to lead us. They have their role to play in that community. So this is primarily their responsibility to take care of those schools. But peradventure where they fail, which in most cases they have, well-meaning Nigerians can stand up and decide to do something to make that place better. And it still ask, goes back to the question I always ask myself. If the governor's son was in that primary school, will they be learning under that condition without the roofs? Will the place be allowed to be flooded? Because I am a parent, and I know that when I go to my children's school and I see that there is a need, because my kids are there, mm -hmm. I do whatever I can to make it better for every child that is there. So if we have... A civil servants and uh, uh, our leaders who do not put their children where the people are. They will not feel the pain. They will not understand that children are learning under a tree. It's so annoying. What we are saying in effect, <laughs> and I'm agreeing, <laughs> is all government people let their children go to public schools. Yeah. Yes. Yes. That's says. only that way. Is <laughs> you will feel it. Means. You know, I interviewed the schools um, improve because I, I, you know, I don't believe. But I, I believe that if you want to do something for your school, do it. Mm -hmm. I really believe. Mm -hmm. But I, I, um, and I think government too should step up. But yeah, you know, I I I, I interviewed a, uh, I think a former senator, and he was saying that um, back then they used to insist that um, official uh, political leaders send their children to public school. In fact, they used what to changed? use. I don't know what happened that, that, that it changed. But even in Lagos State, many public officers used to send their children to the public schools and even use the health facilities. So at some point, obviously, they stopped investing <laughs> mm, in these infrastructures yeah. and people started using, looking for alternatives. But, so we all agree on this table. Yeah, that it's one we of should, the same we should all, well, so, We agree. With, with yes, media. we should also. And I, I think another thing we have to look into is the corruption with those people who are supposed to be the ones giving licenses for some of these things. I remember my own streets. We wanted to do the road, that Egbado road, a church, a very popular church, went to the local government. How many times I want to do it? They said, no, you have to give us money. Mm -hmm. You have to give us Even money. Your church is from, from yes. You know, street, and so you no. frustrate people fact, who are me well my, my fantastic I landlord. Want no money. I want to just bureaucracy. Mm. My fantastic landlord uh, wanted to fix uh, something. I think I'm, I can't remember. There was a part of, our, of, our, of the pavement that was bad. The curbs in my, within the gutters in our house was bad. He sent in a, a tipper. They brought in the, the bricks and everything to fix it. So the remaining sand and stones and all are all there. And I'm thinking, my road needs it. Mm. You might as well, you say, well, we want to now help local government to, to fix our road, road because we have extra sand. And it's really, really annoying I, I that I have to do that. this question. Yes. So if you decide, pay, well, I can't wait for approval from local government. Let me cook the road and just start the road. They will arrest local you. government come and do, will they come and break They the won't road? stop it. They won't stop it, but they just think no, that I, I think they do. They stop. They'll catch you in between. Yes, they catch you in they between. They yeah. suspend yeah. it. They stop it. They can even serve you papers. I don't know okay, how that let's works. Let's go on a break. Unfortunately, we can't take any more on that. When we come back, we found a group of people doing something amazing. They created an app, a menstrual app to help young people track their menstrual period. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned, your view will be right back. Welcome back to your view. Thanks for staying with us. So the menstrual cycle is an important part of a woman's life as it also determines how healthy she is. It's of importance to note that it is not the same for every woman as it relates to several health issues in woman composition. However, join us today. This is the founder, My Flair Menstrual Tracker app. That's Mr. Oluwashio Fadiora. And also, we have a public physician, uh, Yemi Adeyemi. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Morning. You can call us on 070 806 68014. You can also tweet to us at TVC Connect. Please hashtag YoviTVC so we can read your tweets. Before we bring you on, I think we have a, somebody wanted to call in 
concerning our previous topic. Chief Odunto, are you there? Hello, yes, I'm here. Thanks for calling. I think you wanted to say something about um, the previous topic. Go ahead, please. Go ahead, you're live. Hello, yes. Good morning. Good morning, yes. Good morning. Yes. Good morning. Um, I think it is a good thing to give back to our alma mater. I went to a famous school, and the Oceland, the, the, the current first Oceland organization in Nigeria, it was founded by the late Reverend Ivan Wilson Kochi, that's Yenit Kampala, who was our principal in those days. 90% of the buildings in the new site, the new site in 1996, 90% of the buildings were built by those students. Hello? We're having issues with the network. I think we couldn't hear him properly. Okay, welcome to the show. Morning. Um, so when we heard about this app, we're excited, saying, okay, because we've seen a lot of foreign apps, but it's good to know that Nigerians are doing theirs. So tell us about why this app was created in the first place. Okay, um, good morning, everybody. Mm -hmm. My name is Oluwa Sheo Fadira, and this is my are you colleague. A oh, no, I'm not a doctor. Because <laughs> I'm wondering, you're a man and you've created this. Let's, let's so I, I get that all the time that how come is a man that has decided to create a menstrual tracker app? And I think it has to do more with how I grew up. Okay. I grew up with a lot of women around me, and okay. it's been like that even up till now. So we thought of the menstrual tracker app because, like you said, most of the tracker apps that people use in Nigeria are foreign. In fact, there's none that is strictly Nigerian or even African. So we thought about it that it's good for us to create content that is valid for the Nigerian situation. Mm -hmm. And if you look at the way menstrual issues you know, happen with women, the lack of information, the inability in some cases for women to be able to remember when their period would start. So we actually did a survey when we were going to start this and we realized that some women do forget when their period will start. Some women have irregular menstrual cycles. And so we decided, okay, let's put something together that will be able to, you know, help women to track that locally, provide local content as well. And then we also included a little bit of tech into it. So we have machine learning that actually helps women to, for those who don't know when they are cycle, so you have the number of days you're supposed to bleed in a month, you have the total cycle days and all that. We decided that with machine learning and with technology, we'll be able to help women better, better predict when their periods mm. would start. I think this is a good thing, because I remember growing up, I always had this, um, after we were taught in school on how to calculate the period, I always had this, my diary, where you see me, I will write one, I'll do brackets, I'll write days, you know? I keep, I always have that diary, and anytime I forget that diary, I'm more like confused. And now that we have moved to the era of yeah, uh, online and uh, social media, it's very easy to have all of your apps in one place, so you yes, can quickly definitely. organize yourself. Now, when you get this app, does it help you calculate when you're, let's take for instance, you have irregular periods. So are you able to now follow through to when next or just find a way to understand your period better? Because we have a lot of women who don't even know, they don't understand how they are, it's, it's so irregular that sometimes it comes, it lasts just three days, sometimes it comes, it lasts seven days, sometimes the dates are changing so fast. So will it help you more like organize your period for you? What does it do exactly? Uh, while you're answering, before you answer, we will we also tell you when you are fertile. Okay, so there are a lot of issues around it. The medical side, I'll leave for her to answer. Okay. For the app side, part of what we're trying to do to answer your question directly is that when you're signing up, the app is free, you can download it. When you're signing up, you can impute your data. Now, in a lot of cases, some women don't even know what their normal cycle days are. But on average, you bleed for about five days, and then the total cycle length is 28 days. So what the app does is, even if you're not sure, as at the time you're signing up, okay. you leave it. And then over the next three months, the app has a way. So you notice that when you look at your devices in the morning, you see a pop-up notification. So there's a pop-up notification that comes and asks you on the days that it feels based on the initial data that you've imputed. You will then ask you. Why, why are you involved in this project? 
Um, Bon, I'm passionate about it. Um, when he spoke to me about it, I was interested because I meet a lot of women who don't even know how to calculate their menstrual cycle. They don't even know what a normal length is. Um, some of them, like she said, some people see it this um, month, they see it maybe bleed for three days the next month. They don't know what is normal. So they can't even say something is abnormal. And a woman doesn't notice the abnormality in her period until when she's ready to give birth and then she knows, oh, I'm not getting mm. pregnant. Then she starts to ask questions, okay, what's wrong with my period? But the period is the mirror to a woman's fertility. Mm. Now, if you know your period very well, you very much know your fertile period. And that's where the ovulation period comes into place. With a good cycle length, you can, <coughs> and, and knowing your cycle, you can predict when you'll be fertile. But if you don't even know it, how would you predict? You're leaving it to chance. So usually when people come and they have fertility issues, then we start to ask them questions like, how is your menstrual period? Then they start to figure out that, um, I, I'm not sure I know. Mm -hmm. So when he came and we discussed about the app, I was excited because this is another way. I, I, I had used, to, I mean, I've used uh, an app, not this mm -hmm. one obviously, but I, back then to monitor, that's how I used to know when I was fertile. <laughs> and I said, oh, God, yeah, well, I don't fertile, yeah, yeah, let's make this thing happen, you know. But, um, it's very useful. But what, what, what I found that was a bit different about yours, what I read, was that you also plan to donate or give pampers, or no, not pampers, diapers. Sanitary pads. Oh, pads. Yeah. Gosh, the pampers in my head, <laughs> diapers in my yeah. head. Yeah. No, you yeah. also yeah. Yeah. have a baby. Yeah. So you, you actually plan to give out um, pads mm. to mothers. Why is that? Where, where did that come from? Okay, so um, part of the things, so growing up, this is actually personal to me. Growing up, I had a cousin that was living with me, and. On one of those days, I was talking to her, and she was, it was a period, and she was using tissue paper. Mm -hmm. And she said that she couldn't afford to buy sanitary pads, and I was like, okay, tissue paper, it was really strange. So I gave her money at the time, mm -hmm. and then I realized that even though right now a lot of people are doing it, but I thought about it that, yeah, this is what we sell. So a percentage of what we sell will go into this from our own end. Mm. Now, one of the things we're also trying to do with the app is, I also met a lady who works in the bank and said, oh, she would love to do stuff like that, but... You she are just meeting ladies. <laughs> <laughs> we're suspecting this guy. Are you married? <laughs> I am married. I have two boys. <laughs> are you asked, oh, are you, are your wife, I will ask you a question. <laughs> <laughs> this lady, so lady, I, lady. I, 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 don't, I, I have a lot of them as friends, even from mm. the university days mm. and all that. So. She told me that she, didn't, she couldn't do it on a regular basis, even though she wanted to. So I thought about it that since we're doing this, she couldn't thing. donate. Oh, okay. So I thought about it that since we're already doing an app that helps women to track their period and we could do stuff like that. So I said, okay, you know what? Why don't we integrate the donation part to it? So for everybody that wants to donate, you donate is automatic. It removes the charge if you want to donate on a monthly basis, quarterly basis, or even one-off. So, so you can actually donate pads or you can donate cash. So if you do that on the app, it's automatic. And then at the end of the day, there's uh, a menstrual health... health uh, Okay, we have, there's, an, there's a Nigerian coalition of menstrual hygiene management yes. um, where we have people who are advocates for period poverty. We have a group, so we usually go to schools and we give them sanitary pads. But we are quite limited because we're doing this off of our own desires. Mm -hmm. So apps like ears would help us to reach out to more people and on a continuous basis because if we give the children the um the sanitary pad this month they have to look for another source next month mm -hmm. but with something like this we can say okay we have this amount of money monthly let's allocate this to this number of schools mm -hmm. every month so, so who's your target audience are you appealing to those teenagers on me. <laughs> <laughs> Are you appealing to younger people that have no idea of what their menstrual cycle teenagers is all about, or, or teenagers? Are you, what, what's the age range you're trying to capture? Okay, so the, the people we're trying to appeal to, funny enough, you think it's just teenagers that will have such issues. Mm -hmm. But you'll be surprised, like she mentioned, when it's time to have kids is when you realize the importance of your period. And a lot of women will tell you that, oh, I, I, I don't even know when... Yeah. I just know it comes. Yeah, so sure. part of the things I realized during one of the different uh, surveys we did is a lady said that the way she knows her period is about to start is that she starts feeling pains Pain. in her leg. Pain. And I'm like, how do you 
live your life, your period yeah. to waiting for pain, waiting for pain in your, pain in your yeah, leg. I, mean, I guess I can, I can relate because I actually used this thing for like almost two years. For, for, when, when I, after I got married, they have not there. But I was she using was consistently wow. knew when I was fertile. Wow. I knew when it was time to was safe, you not to no so, so I was very I, I, I was very, very good with it. But what I would like to ask you finally is is your own app, and please don't mention the name of the app because I don't want no, to holler. No, is it foolproof such that anybody can easily understand it? Because sometimes it can look complicated. There's so many user numbers, friendly. figures. Is it, is it, is it user-friendly? So the truthful answer is this. is There's nothing that is foolproof. Okay. But what we're trying to do is we're incorporating machine learning on the tech side to be able to predict it at a better rate. So based on the information you input, will then be, for example, women, for instance, even for those who use the app, they will remember to put when the period starts. Mm -hmm. They don't remember to put when the period starts. ends. Yeah, so. so that in itself is going to create an imbalance and an issue for you. So one of the things we're doing, this is on the back end, you use machine learning to be able to predict it and force people to impute okay. that data so it makes it better. Okay, let me take this call. Good morning, are you there, Wumi? Hello. Thanks for calling, go ahead, please. I Hello? can't hear you. Mom, go ahead, please. You're live. Hello? You're live. Go ahead, please. Hello? We can hear you. <laughs> oh, right, yeah, so I, I heard um, there's like a blog as well where people can come together, women can come together and share what they are going through. How does that work? So? Okay, so on the app, we have a blog, and I think what you're trying to refer to is the forum. Yeah. So there's a forum where if you have issues, you can actually go post a topic. And when you post the topic, other women who are on the platform will be able to look at sure. you and say, oh, I've experienced mm -hmm. that before. Mm -hmm. So for example, if you have sudden heavy bleeding, you may be panicky. And then you think, OK, maybe it's just me. And then you post it there, and somebody says, oh, no, it's not an issue. I've had it before. Okay. I had to see a guy in the so It's a community. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, so it's a community. The well, blog... unfortunately, that's all we can say. But I think, I, but I think it's a good thing. Thank you so uh, much. I think it's going to help a lot of Nigerian women. It's always good to support when Nigerians are doing their own versions yeah, of things right. many people use internationally. So it's a good thing. I would just support you the best we can. Thank and you so hope much. people can actually use your product. OK, that's all we can take on that Thank segment. You. When we come back, we'll discuss allergies. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Welcome back to Your View. Thanks for staying with us. A lot of us are allergic to different kinds of stuff in one way or the other, and are obviously oblivious of these um, symptoms. Allergies exist in many different forms, and we might be surprised to learn how many different types of allergies there are. Join us to elaborate more on allergies and how we can identify them is a public health expert, Dr. Tui Mabawandu. Welcome to the show. Thank it's me, by one actually. <laughs> you Thank can call you. us on 070-8066814. You can also tweet to us at TVC Connect. Please hashtag YourViewTVC so we can read your tweets. Right. Allergies. We know usually people, there are different types of allergies. And here, nobody really pays attention. You just will get over it. You'll be all right. Uh, and my mother used to tell me that I was allergic to crayfish because she was allergic to crayfish automatically she bestowed allergy on me <laughs> once i grew up and i was eating crayfish. seafood mm. and i didn't have an issue but she had a leech so i grew up thinking that i was allergic to fish until i said let me just even try this thing so how do we find out if we are allergic to anything else? what are the symptoms that we look out for thank you allergy has become really it's become a serious public health issue worldwide um especially with the sophistication of human um living, um, we find out that it's impacting so much on the living, on health, on economy of individual, you know, and, it's, and the nation as well, because it can affect the school attendance, workplace, and so many other things. Um, you look at it, you look at the figure of 300 million people asthmatic worldwide, another 250 million to food allergies, mm -hmm. about 10% of the population to, to actually drugs, drugs allergy. And then right now it is about 400 million people. And you see that at every point in time, as much as between you know, 300 and $1,300 is spent per year per person on trying to deal with allergy. Now, what is allergy? It's simply the body's inappropriate reaction to otherwise harmless 
things in the environment. Um, the immune system look at those things that normally should be harmless, and then the immune system choose to say, okay, no, I don't want you inside this body, and the body throws out some reaction to those things. Why that has to be, we may not know, but we, we may not know exactly, but we try to hazard guess why we experience those things. And then how do we, back to your question, how do we now identify allergies? Allergies depend on the point of contact where the tea that is actually affecting one. Is the, the, because what causes allergies is called allergen. Let me just make it mm -hmm. as simple as that. The allergen itself, <coughs> if it enters through the respiratory tracts or the nose or the eyes, it will cause you know, sneezing, repeated sneezing, watery eyes, redness of the eyes, cough that is dry. The person can actually wheeze, mm -hmm. okay? I mean, that is, but if it comes in contact with the skin, the person will have itching and skin reactions, eruptions, and flaking of the skin can happen. If it comes through the, intest uh, through the mouth, the person can have swollen mouth, um, and then can have diarrhea, abdominal discomfort. In fact, in reality, we've so neglected food allergy because there's a lot of sophistication in food preparation and availability of food, the type of food. Unlike what our you know, four, four parents used to have, we now have a lot of sophistication in terms of food. So many things are added. Some of these things we don't know the reaction to this. And we then find we eat it, we feel, we feel bloated, we go to mm. the restroom quite it's often. Bl bloating is also as a result oh, of allergy. Oh, it's a reaction. It's mm. a reaction, you know, because your body is not accepting those things. And the body, a different part of the body reacts differently to those allergens. Okay, so, so my cousin, while I was growing up, always had, had asthma. It was always like, it was asthma here, asthma there. He had his <coughs> inhalers everywhere. And then when I traveled um, five years ago, I saw him and I was wondering, so how are you doing? You are not carrying inhaler. And he said since he relocated to the US when he went for his um, first degree and that he never, he doesn't have attack again, that he only had attack the one time he came to Nigeria. So apparently some uh, environmental, environmental um, factors. factors can lead to some of these things. So in, in dealing with asthma, apparently the dust situation in Nigeria is extreme, on extreme level. And that pretty, could have been a factor or could it just be that My he agree with? My daughter too, hers is dust. Mm. So anytime she's in Nigeria, her face can swell. She will just get, all her face will be swollen. She will have to be using asthma, um, the inhalers, you know. But when she's in England, it doesn't happen to her. Again, we observe that doing it disproportionately, we tend to see the effect on the um, low and middle income countries or developing countries as mm. it were. Like many other things, we tend to absorb a lot of negativities. Um, why? Because one, you can look at Lagos, for instance. You, you, are, you, are, you are driving around Lagos, you see the permanent haze. Mm. The, the city is thoroughly Putin. polluted. Mm. Not just about the dirt that you see, not just about the dust that you see. The city is seriously polluted. You see fumes, you see, you know, um, vehicle belching, you know, acrid fumes all over Generator. the place, all those things come into the airways, for instance, and stimulate, because what the, body, what the immune system says that, okay, there's something that's entering me. The, mm. the body will prepare that this is not part of us. Mm. When the thing enters again, the body starts reacting and secrets mm. a series of chemicals mm. that you now, you know, start a cascade reaction, mm. giving out to all those symptoms. And my, my, my brother about. lives in the US, and he gets um, this pollen reaction, the mm. sinuses, and it's really bad. It gets really bad. Do we have that here in Nigeria? Again, of course, as long as you can grow flowers, I, I, I mean, these decorating flowers and all those things, so as long as plant blossoms, pollen will now fill the air. Mm. We've not dealt with smoke, we've not dealt with dust, we've not dealt <laughs> with dust. Not dealing with How do we now get to do, do with pollen? Mm. Of course, you, some of us that have pets, those, um, you know, dandas, yeah. dandas, you know, those flakes that fall off the, the, the hair and the skin can actually, you know, it's quite allergic. Whatever, you know, of course, here you know that, um, t uh, what's it called, cockroaches and all that, their neighbors, you know, they actually struggle. Yeah. Landlords. Um, <laughs> I am mentally, yeah, landlords. I am mentally it's allergic it's to cockroaches. Cockroaches. They're, 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 Not physically, but mentally. Uh, they're, they're neighbors. The droppings of cockroach is very, very allergic. Hmm. Oh. They have droppings. It what will dry up. It's it very, very allergic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Either to the skin or to the airways. Oh. Very allergic. Wow. You know, and then those dust, there's some, well, there's some mites that are inside dust. They just get, you know, thrown up and then allergy. Even for me, I'm so allergic to so many things. Corn is a problem for me. Ah. Some perfumes are a problem for me. So, again, this is the challenge we have to face. Mm. Now, the question is that even if you, you, you go through supermarket and you look at those foods, 
there's no label to tell you that, you know, if you are allergic to milk or casein or gluten, mm, yeah. so you take be, it. be careful. The labeling is not just there. The, the public discourse to engage people and understand what allergy is, because allergy is not like, for instance now, if you are discussing gynecology, you are probably talking about the reproductive the, the part of your lady. But allergy is multi-organ. It, it, it doesn't stay in one organ. Yeah. Mm. So we, we need to start that conversation, Sir. which is the right thing you are doing, okay. around what, how to identify allergy, what should you do with allergy, mm. and right, how sir. to counter it. So I've never had an allergy. I don't oh, know. Lucky you. Yeah, so but I don't you are know. Not, you, are not, you are not free yet, though. Uh, I, I don't know what it means letter. for someone to have an allergy because sometimes you when, heavy, you when, know, no. when yeah, I, like I, I'm frying mm. and then some people come around the palm oil smoke, mm. they are coughing. Mm. So I'm wondering why are you coughing? I'm the one frying it and I'm not coughing. So mm. how do you handle people around you who have allergies, different allergies at different times? Again, yes, the, the first thing is for you to identify your, your, what you are allergic to, your allergen. That's mm. the first thing. Now, the, 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 the right thing is people to keep diary. Okay, let's try to do that. As we're keeping diary of menstruation, <laughs> let's keep diary of uh, body allergy. reaction. Body reaction. Uh, now, you, you we are not going to pad. Um, uh, uh, what is it? Apple. Uh, uh, okay. It's no more book. So what, what, would I, what would I do is that you look at it that, listen, when I took this thing, I felt this way. Mm. Note it. Okay. Next time, you know. So if you can keep track of allergy, because the reaction, like I mentioned, you know, those sneezing, those coughing, those watery eyes, those itching, and then those scratching of the body, eruptions, you know, unnecessary, you know, diarrhea after eating some type of food. You know, but allergies this... can actually be life-threatening. Mm. It can be actually be life-threatening. That's what I was going to say. Yes. My, my friend, uh, her daughter, her and her friends, they all went to France for the girl's birthday. And the girl is allergic to nuts. Aha, and, that's, and that's one key thing, yeah. She didn't know in the restaurant that there were nuts in the food, and she didn't oh. have uh, the thing that they inject themselves, and she ate the nuts, and she passed on. Oh, my God. Yeah. On her birthday. Yeah. Allergic yeah. to nuts. Yeah. Yeah. On holiday. Just like that. Yeah. Allergy, and people don't really know about the seriousness okay. of these allergies. Me, I'm allergic let me, to nuts, so let me, let me. I have r rashes on my face. No, I just nuts. literally, once I eat it nuts, can, my face just... It's just rash. Oh, no, no, that, that one is a uh, pimples. No, no rash. No, run away from it. It's as Immediately. Like that. Yeah, there's no point. Because it gets worse. I think it gets worse. With age. Yes. Uh, yes. I like yeah. us to. I like us to focus on this um, as allergies when it comes to children. Mm. Yeah. Because a lot of kids, we just feed them with all sorts, and we don't, and they pick up so many things from from outside that we have no idea. So, for a mother, how do you? monitor what your child eats to ensure because i have a daughter that every single morning unfailingly minimum she sneezes 10 times before before having her bath yeah. so one day i cleared out their room i dusted everywhere cleaned everything speak and span and she didn't sneeze for, for at least one week oh. and i saw the help you see this her room was very dusty mm. but now she's gone back to so i know it's a dusty thing but is it just dust or should i be also worried about other things that could this girl be allergic to much more than i'm thinking yeah because you see allergy can can happen over a spectrum of things, mm. you know, from perfume to dust to even food. And the children's case is particularly, you know, uh, uh, worrisome because you need a lot of observation and, mm. and understanding to, to, you know, first and foremost, um, the milk, the, the dairy products are quite, you know, it's one of the, you know, number leading causes of allergies, okay? For children. For children, especially. Um, I've, I've had, I've seen a, a child, my friend's, uh, one of the twins, you know, was having this recurrent, uh, literally born baby, was having, throwing up every time, it's fed. I said, go and change the food. The baby is, does not like the food. food. Some of them will come with skin rashes. All these things, we call Lila and all those things. They mm. are reaction, allergies. they are reaction to some of those allergies. So when you look at your baby and you are observing some abnormal thing, you know, in their body, mm. either in time of feeding, you know, maybe the child keeps throwing out. So suspect an allergy or some rashes. Like I earlier mentioned, sneezing, recurrent sneezing cannot be anything but allergy, mm -hmm. okay? And of course, it will put a lot of pressure on you, put a lot of pressure on the child, and of course, we'll be wondering what the hell, so what is sorry, is that, what is wrong? Sir, sir, let me that go letter, to that we'll send it to you, the one that NBC is going to send it. They're sending it to you. That um, sneezing you just mentioned, because yes. my husband sneezes all the time. And now I had 
I have three children. And one of them took exactly that sneezing. So is it a way, is there like, is it genetics? Do you yeah. inherit allergies? No, or? There are genetic components. Yes, yes, there are genetic components to allergic reaction. And that is what we call atopy. That is why it's possible for a family of an asthmatic, for the child of an asthmatic to develop asthma. Oh. Because the issue of atopy, you know, there's a genetic component to allergy. But if you okay. remove the allergen from yes, that family yes, issue. Yes. So if the allergy, allergy, for me, I grew up sneezing, sneezing, sneezing. I didn't realize it was the rug. So when I got married, I had that same issue again. And my husband just felt like, let's just take out the rugs from this house. And when we did, my sneezing, as in, it was like a miracle. It was, that was God opening my eyes to, this is because of your sneezing. Yes. So <laughs> taking out the rug, and my kids too were sneezing that time. When we took out the rug from the house, it reduced it so they can get exposed to dust outside, but the rugs, how about lots of dust? I, I, when, I, when I was a kid, when I was a kid, I had an allergy to antiperspirants, mm. um, the spray ones. Mm. And you know, when you have used your money at that age to buy, you will finish uh, it. This, you say it's a lie. You won't agree. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my rash came from where? Oh, to here. Wow. oh God. My father's um, friend's wife that saw me said, "What is this?" And I said, "This did you stop it immediately?" And I stopped it, and the thing just left. <laughs> Disappeared just like that. Okay, know? let's go on a break. When we come back, we'll try to take some phone calls and tweets. Stay with us, we'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back.
Welcome back to Your View. Thanks for staying with us. So we're going to take some tweets and calls. Before we do that, um, so for, let, let's, let's imagine somebody now, you know you're allergic to something, you're not sure what it is. Now, what's the best thing to take to manage any kind of allergies? Do you, especially when you don't even have a clue that it's an allergy. Should we take antibiotics or should we just find a way to find, I don't know, what, allergy what, stuff what can you use? Again, um, first and foremost, we should be careful um, in using drugs, yeah. especially <laughs> antibiotics, because that has been the refrain now that uh, for the slightest thing, people will even buy antibiotics on the road or inside the vehicle mm. or, you know, or public transport and start swallowing it because they felt that they now know more than the uh, health workers. Mm. Um, try to seek uh, a help or, you know, an understanding of a health worker if you really want to have a proper understanding. Uh, once the person says you have an allergy, normally there are OTC, over-the-counter prescriptions that can use for allergy, so common. But even when seeking the, the, uh, where to buy that, make sure that you, you are sure that you are buying the right thing or else you buy something that has expired and then you run into trouble. Um, the allergy drugs are quite, very, you know, are quite affordable and cheap and then honestly, talk to the they can recommend one for you. Mm -hmm. But the major thing is for you to identify your allergen. Allergen. Let me take this call from Abuja. Good morning, are you there? <clears throat> yes, I'm hot. Thanks for calling. Go ahead, please. Yeah, my name is Henry. Hi, Henry. First time caller. Welcome, Welcome to the show. show. Yeah, I would quickly like to talk on two issues. The issue of Ama Mata, which was first discussed. Uh, it's a very laudable thing to do, to give back to your Ama Mata. My, my Ama Mata, this April, this year, we had our 25th year anniversary. Oh, wow. And... We looked back at the things we left in the school those years, the sport facility, it was actually a Aquinas College in Akura in Ondo State. Mm -hmm. we, we had to give them a project of over 2 million naira. We gave them a, 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 a dual course game, a game course that can play basketball and volleyball together. They gave us a vacant plot of land within the school and we donated a project of over 2 million naira. Wow. It was a very laudable project that they even came to, to uh, nice. to be played with the, with the PTA, they, they appreciate us. And other sets in the schools, those that are building two blocks of classroom, three blocks, those that are setting up a computer room, they are all doing that. And apart from that, the energy issue you guys are discussing, uh, when I was growing up, there is, there is this aunt of mine, when the entire house is eating a uh, pounded yam, she will not be able to eat because if she eats pounded yam, she usually has this itching in her throat. Hmm. All the time she has pounded yam. But what she does is before they will pound the yam, she will take some yam. That, that's what she will eat. The entire wow. people will eat pounded yam. But over the years, when she became an adult, she got married. Uh, I don't know whether I should say she outgrew it, started eating pounded yam or... He mm. prayed away through, I don't know. But we just saw that Anti Joker started eating for the young Wow. Uh, we then thank got Anti Joker. Thank you very much. <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me draw a question from that. So, can you outgrow an allergy? There's, there could be a process of desensitization. Okay, mm. but let's, let's understand how it starts. First and foremost, um, you think it's applied to the body or taken into the body, or the body comes in contact with it, and the immune system says, listen, this is an enemy. Um, let's find a way to deal with the, with the enemy. enemy. And then recruits ready made soldier to fight it. After some time, you know, um, the immune system can get also tricked or, or into believing to accepting that thing and, and you know, and gradually mitigating or, you know, or the desensitizing the whole system of allergic reaction. Mm -hmm. It's possible. And that's why you see that even some people that come with very early childhood asthma, as time goes on, they tend to get better okay. because of some can they environmental... Build, can you build the immune system? Can you use your diet to build your immune system to, to overcome that allergic reaction? It's not... In reality, when you see people that are quite allergic, you mm. know, to things, they have a very strong immune system. Oh. It's, not, it's not a bad idea. Because normally, a minority child would not elaborate those allergic reactions as it should be. Mm. So that is why, you know, it's quite tricky in children. So, so the sensation can happen over some, over some time, and then the person can find a way, along a way to manage it and identify those and avoid them, even unconsciously okay. in a way. I so, have a call from Anne. Anne from Festac, are you there? 
Yeah, good morning. Thanks for calling. Go ahead, please. My first time in calling. Welcome, Welcome to the show. show. <laughs> well, I, I want to find that my son, <laughs> for, for I can call it, um, and if he's having an allergy on uh, beans, because when he eats beans, he will start throwing up and uh, stooling. Hmm. So, and also chicken, too. When he eats chicken, he will start throwing up and stooling. So I want to find that if he's an allergy or he's just uh, reacting or he doesn't like it, I don't know. Okay, so beans, and, that beans and chicken, right? Mm, those those are two normally for me, it's two. Also, right. it's not good for his system because sometimes when I could be the mommy, I'm not eating this I'll start vomiting and stooling. Mm. Mm. Thank so, you very much, Anne, for that question. Beans? Yes, again, food, any food. You know, you, 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 you can be allergic to any food. And then look, let's look at our beans, for instance. The pesticides. process, the pesticides they put there, that is a real problem. The process of cooking and washing, maybe, maybe they, when they have to, you have to really, uh, removing the skin or the beans, maybe that may help. We don't, we don't know. And boiling, they say you could okay. boil and now, pour up the water. the thing is this, as long as your child does not to tolerate it, don't stop give it. it. Why, mm. why give it, okay? So, we have because it I think the, the, the throat closes some, in some cases, the throat will yeah, just close. because of that, if I'm can breathe. Yes. Mm. Yes. Mm. That's, what, that's what leads to death. Let me ask you a question. Is it normal to fart after beans? Is it normal to fart after taking egg? Is it normal to fart after taking milk? milk. Well, 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 yes, because you know, you know why? Because again, um, the constituents, because there are bacteria in the guts that okay. act on those things and produce by, uh, there are byproducts called gases, you know? Okay. So there's some food that, you know, the bacteria acting in the guts will produce a lot of More gas. gas. Okay. So, so it's normal, so, it's not like an so allergy. You, yes, yes, yeah. a lot of. Normal, so, it's not like an so allergy. You, yes, yes, yeah. a lot of, a lot of um, proteinaceous food will fall into that category. Okay. So that's okay. why. Okay, can I take yeah. some tweets, please? Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, he says, you avoid what you're allergic to. If I visit you, don't use black pepper or lemon to cook. That's for Obiajulu. <laughs> <laughs> the night is, um, his name is the night is full of terrors. Is there any remedy for us that, are, that have sulf sulfuric allergy because of nowadays drug, because nowadays drugs contain sulfur and the aller re yeah. allergic reactions yeah. are yeah. unbearable? Yeah, okay. very, very. I, I, I can feel her. All right, okay. Andrew in Streatham yeah. says, we had a court case in the UK two weeks ago whereby a 70-year-old boy died from marinated chicken and his family took the restaurant to court. The restaurant was fined. Now, how do you regulate what your kids take outside? You cannot regulate it. You, 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 it's, it it's tough, especially in this era whereby, you know, and <laughs> women are also uh, in the forefront of economic uh, activities and, and then the, the challenge to, to properly cook what they used to eat is, is there, and then you have to eat out. Now, eating out implies that you must be able to understand that my kids are not tolerating this type of food and explain that at the restaurant level yeah. of the restaurant. Mm. It's, it's very key. Now, when, let me come back to the sulfonamides in drugs, okay? There are quite a lot of drugs with a typical ring that w some people don't tolerate. When they take it, they, they, the swelling of certain part of their body comes up, and then there's a round black spot on those parts of this body. It is important that, any, normally what the, um, health workers do is to put on that card specifically, you know, that you is allergic to sulfonamides or any of those drugs, you know. Any, so doctors can understand any drug containing that drink and tell mm. the person to, you know, avoid it. Mm. Normally, if you're allergic to something, it's also important that you put in your wallet or in your pocket or whatever, yeah. That I am allergic to this. Should anybody, should you mm. be in a situation mm. where well, you can't help? make the decision? Aha, people will now be able no. to. No. Let me take this call from Odun. Odun, are you there? Hello, are you there? Hello, Odun, you're live. Hello? Go ahead, please. Thanks for calling. Hey, first time caller. Welcome, hey. Alicia. Thank you very much. Hey, I want to talk about allergy. Go ahead. Uh -huh. like, you know, allergy. Hello? We can hear you. How do we test for allergies? I'll come to that because I know when you travel abroad and you want to, you want to test your child for allergies, they, they, there's like a spectrum of things they put to all your specimen to have an idea what your allergies are. So you are, as a parent, you are cautious on what you, but here, you're, you, you, how do you test, is there a test to even Nigeria? know I'm if I'm allergic to anything? In Nigeria, there are tests for allergies, and of mm. course, um, 
only that, you know, what are you going to test for? Quite a huge number of Rings. things. Mm. And there's a skin patch that can be used, you know, the standardized one, you know, to put different things there and find out whether the person is allergic to it. Sometimes you can take the blood specimen and I say what you call a, an immunoglobin, which we call immunoglobin E, and try to define, you know, what the person, that this person is having allergy. But to identify the particularity the person is allergic to, you, not, you need have to you have to test that thing specifically on the person. Mm. Now, more importantly, what we should do is to look at the, the history. What I mean by history is that um, I'm staying with this person. Um, this is my body. This is what. I, whenever I do this, I observe this. That is even at this point in this part of our world, it's more important to understand that to to have uh, to be able to have deeper know intrude. your body. Yeah, know your body, and then we should. It is wonderful. I'm, I'm just pretty happy that um, you are discussing allergy at this point in time. We need to increase the public discourse. We need to keep signaling. We need to let people understand the spectrum of allergy. And it's possible that somebody can take just uh, seafood and then die. Hmm. It's impossible. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. You can take a fish and die if you are really, really allergic to it. Yeah. And then because, you know, I, I have had an experience those days as a young doctor where, you know, which was penicillin we gave to this, but those are the we used to give uh, penicillin in those days. Mm. And the man passed out. Can you imagine? It was you his know, time to yeah, go. Yeah, he passed out, and then, you know, quickly we have to put up. No, he didn't die. I feel like he passed out. He passed out. Okay. So, <laughs> 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 no, we we'll tell somebody. <laughs> we'll tell somebody. So, you know, we have to set up wow. line, revive the person. Since that day, we put clearly, this man is allergic to penicillin. Mm. Once he's allergic to that drug, for instance, you have to also be watching that closely for that drug with similar configuration mm. so that you don't then hey, end up. Can I just some tweets, please? please. Mm. Yeah. Escape says, is being un unable to breathe very well under the sun or maybe in a room or where there is heat a sign of allergy? Mind surgeon, can one be allergic to pregnancy, male, female, or the constitution of pregnancy herself? What can be done? Uh, uh, Andrew from Stretton says, do you tell these kids to drink Agbo, all the allergies uh, go disappear <laughs> at times uh, at times this allergy thing self it borders on the ajebota factor <laughs> ask at Mwakaba, she drank a, has she drank a, a before, before? <laughs> mr pj I, comedian says growing up yeah. I, I, need to, I need to honestly i need to address this because i remember uh, on the, uh, another program, are you listening on another program um, i was discussing the issue of trying medical things Please, that something is natural does not mean that it, it won't have side effect. Let us mm. get that straight. Oh. You know, because the nuts are natural, ain't they? Yep. The crayfish are natural. Yes. That, yep. somebody, that something is natural does not mean that it won't have side effect. Mm -hmm. Okay? And we should honestly be careful. The dust gun is natural. You know? Yeah. <laughs> we should be careful in prescribing what we don't have Understand. a deeper understanding yeah. of yeah. to people in the 21st century. Mm. Mm. Now, I go nice because it's been with, with us for quite a long time, but they must be able to subject that I go to honest scientific rigor. If you cannot do that, for me, I don't run on superstition. I don't run on anything. Oh, our grandmas are listening. My, yeah. yeah. that my problem is measurement. No, no, it's not. I, I, I've, I've always been like that. A herbalist would, would say, would say uh, yeah, would say, no, 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 that you are being is because of the science. No, no, I've always been like that. You know, I, I grew up they in the village. Tested. I've always been like that. You know, because number one, why can't you just wake up? You know, again, for instance, if you're going to do traditional things, it's going to involve incantations, some part of this. No, 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 oh, no, no. no. Some no, are no. just no, let me tell you, lemongrass. My father gave me agum when I was about 19. Mm. Agum Ag uh, for malaria. That one that you mix with Ogi. Mm. From that day till today, as me and you are talking. You have not had malaria. I have not had malaria. Imagine. Oh, really? Please, I need your father. <laughs> and mosquitoes. <laughs> mosquitoes are my customer. Wow. They She's bite. You are uh, my the mosquito bites me and their customer are gone. They love my legs. Science, in science, we we'll take that as a very important thing. We we'll now ask ourselves the question why is it such that YK, after taking Agumi, since how many years? I was 19 and 58 now. And now it's never had malaria. Oh. Science will ask, they will not ascribe it to the agum mm. first without even having a rigor of examining that statement. That See, is the beauty the of science. Was, okay, the one that's tweet beauty tweet of science. Oh, is that the ugliness of science now? It can be the ugliness of science. <laughs> okay. You it's think it's the beauty? I'm thinking because I know that because I was very ill. Mm. Very, 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 very round up. I need to Mr. PJ tweet, Comedian says, growing up, we didn't know what allergies were, but I had an allergic reaction to itchy throats when I ate one particular cocoa 
yam. Mm -hmm. Now, gari and palm oil, I take tacolam. Are there wow. alternative home remedies for these reactions? Yes, again, beautiful, beautiful response. Because for us, um, if you have those itching, what we can do is to look for something that can really cause some relief. Some, some honey in warm water, you know, can actually reduce. Because some of those things have natural constituents that can actually limit so honey and warm water yeah, mm. what of palm oil you know you know uh, palm oil because again it must be pure enough because our, our major challenge even now is that is to get pure palm. purity purity in some of the things some of those are home remedies yeah. where, 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 uh, where brand naomi issue. is asking a question she says she eats cassava product but once she eats eba it becomes an issue she can stool and vomit for a week wow. and no amount of drugs helps she 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 should should stop stop it because how, how they do gary have you seen them spread it the on the process express? Of the, the process of the, of, of, of the production mm. has mm. had one or two seasons. Unfortunately, we have to wrap up. We have been running out of time. Um, Thank you so much, Dr. Yeah. for coming on the show. It's my pleasure. That's all we can take. Join us tomorrow for a live audience show. Please come early so you can get a seat. Have a fabulous day. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.